Hey everybody, right before we get into this video, I would like to say thank you guys so much for all your support, all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments, and if you enjoy what you see, please do leave a subscription. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So, on November 19th, John McCain was at the Halifax International Security Forum where he was, you know, talking and um, he said, quote, I don't give a damn what the President of the United States wants to do or anybody else wants to do. We will not waterboard, we will not do it. So, John McCain is expressing his extreme disapproval and position against waterboarding and torture techniques in general. Now, he's bringing this up because on the campaign trail, Donald Trump has has said a lot of things to actually bring back tor uh, torture. He said, quote, um, he, I believe he said we should bring that back torture even if it doesn't work. And he also said, I think pretty cleanly, he wants to bring back waterboarding, which was used in the Bush era and uh, pretty much outlawed. So he, the reason he has such a strong standpoint on this specific topic is because he was a POW, which is prisoner of war in the Vietnam War, in which obviously he feels this way because they also use these kind of grotesque forms of torture, such as waterboarding and he knows it's a horrible experience, and generally speaking, when you go through it firsthand, it seems to be, you know, you understand it, and you wouldn't want to see someone else go through that, so I can understand that, and credit where credit is due, completely agree with him on this one, and I don't agree with John McCain on much, and we'll get into that a little later. He also says, quote, what does it say about America if we're going to inflict torture on people? And that is a good point as well. He's bringing up the fact that as Americans and a country as a whole, America is supposed to be this kind of, you know, if we're the police of the world, quote unquote, we're supposed to have these higher standards in general. We're supposed to be a country of higher standards, uh, more intelligent, more civil, and honestly, just having higher morals and understanding and sympathizing. So basically what he's saying is, if we're supposed to be this, you know, world police and we're supposed to be thinking that we have the higher intelligence and morals and sympathizing and understanding and, you know, all this stuff, right? How how can we really truly be that if we're doing the same thing that, for example, Saudi Arabia is doing? You know, they, they pull pluck eyelashes and stuff like that for sins and stuff like that. If we're doing the same thing that other countries like that are doing, then how are, what does it say about America, you know? It doesn't say it's... It's supposed to have higher standards, or it does have higher standards, I can tell you that for free. But anyways, so according to the Washington Post, McCain, who was tortured as a prisoner of war during the Vietnam War, said extreme interrogation techniques are banned under U.S. law and the Geneva Conventions. Now this is true as well. Um, obviously, it is against the Geneva Conventions, which is basically international law for how you're supposed to treat POWs, which are prisoners of war. It's supposed to have, you know, enhanced interrogation, quote unquote. They made that term uh, a term because, you know, they're trying to make it not not torture so they can get away with doing it. But they're supposed to be banned under the Geneva Conventions, which is international law and agreement. So <sighs> that's another point on that. Um, also, in during this Halifax International Security Forum, he also brought up, um, according to the Washington Post, McCain also expressed support. For the North American Free Trade Agreement with Canada and Mexico and said the United States should not back out of the yet not yet implemented Trans-Pacific Partnership. So this is just a quick reminder that even though we agree with him on this, you should not fall in love with John McCain. Also, um, my stance personally on this topic is that torture should not be allowed because, you know, we should not be inflicting torture on other people because we're supposed to be a country of high, higher standards and to set an example for the rest of the world and be principled upon this idea. Also, it does it does go against Geneva Conventions and often due process as well because the people who are tortured often don't even have a way to prove their own innocence. So how the hell are you supposed to know if there's a suspicion of how they're catching these people that they're torturing and they're unable to prove their innocence? then we don't even know who we're, who we're using the torture on. So, yeah.